So hi, it's uh, Ken again. Uh, today we're going to do uh, another animal. We're going to do the, the the crane frolic. We worked on Chaman Ching's uh, bird exercise or bird exercise. This is uh, the the frolic of the crane. Um, yeah. So uh, without, we'll get straight into it. So go through our postural requirements. So head as if suspended from above. Imagine you have that long ponytail on the top of the head, tied up to the to the ceiling. Pelvic area is tilted forwards, hanging down from that suspension from above. You have that pulled back with the ears feeling, as if pulling the neck back against the collar of a shirt. Keep the jaw level of the floor, the skull, the head lifting up off the neck, off the spine. Uh, but floating as well. Shoulders nice and relaxed. When the arms are close to the body, keep that small gap underneath each armpit, as if cradling a small bird's egg underneath there without, without crushing or without dropping the eggs. Tip of the tongue. Did I say that? Tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Sink the chest around the back, and it's not hollowing the chest. It's sink the chest to naturally around the back. Sink the ribs to fill the lower back. Relax the hips, knees, and the ankles. Uh, yeah, we never lock out the legs. Oh, very, very, very rarely we, we lock out the legs in, in Tai Chi or in Qigong. So unless otherwise uh, uh, asked to keep that, that bend in the knees the whole time. Breathing in through the nose, if you can, of course. Breathing into that area that's about three fingers below, below the belly button and in the center of the body. So you're activating the, the diaphragm and you're kind of engaging your the pelvic floor or the pelvic bowl uh, when doing these movements. So these, uh, they start with uh, the heels together. If the feet were on the face of a clock, left foot would be pointing somewhere between 10 and 11, right foot somewhere between uh, 1 and 2. Okay, so we've, as always, work to your capabilities with these, okay? Always work to your capabilities. And I'll, I'll be giving uh, safety instructions as we go along. So the frolic of the crane. So bring the, the hands up, palms facing up towards you, fingers pointing in and down. Just moving from your elbows, this fulcrum at the elbows, breathing in. Breathing in. So I'm not going to count the repetitions I do here, but if you do want to count, you can do a nine of each one. Breathing in. And breathing out. So the crane, the bird, the crane, can stand motionless on one of its pencil thin legs for hours. It looks like it's asleep. It could be asleep. You know, uh, lots of birds, they can uh, have one half of the brain sleeping while the other one is uh, awake. How many birds uh, can stay on the, the wing for the days, weeks? Breathing in, and breathing in. So the standing on one of its pencil thin legs for hours looks like it's asleep. But if something were to swim past a fish or a frog or something, it would dart into action with lightning reflexes. Breathing, breathing. Also a, a symbol of longevity. Now, nice deep abdominal breaths. Take your arms up to the sides of your body. Hands up, arms up to shoulder height here. Then we're going to make the, the beak of the crane. The beak of the crane, so all four fingers touch the thumb, like we did, or like we do in uh, single whip in uh, Tai Chi. Single whip, beak. All we're going to do here, we're going to, from arm, from hands open, we're going to breathe in, raise the hands up, make the beak, and breathe out, lower them back down to shoulder height. Breathing in, up. Breathing out, back down. Make sure you're not flaring ribs out, breathing in. You're not curving in the lower back, you're not sticking your chest out. You're breathing out. And you can see my whole body is moving up and down ever so slightly here. You don't have to do that, you can do it with just arms. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. So looking into the distance, way, way, way into the distance. That is, you're not being distracted by anything you have around you. That is, you're not thinking about anything you're taking in through your senses. It's all there. You're not trying to block it out, but you're just not thinking about it. You're not analyzing it. Thinking about it is good, bad, unusual, funny, sad. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in. down to about waist height, then breathing it up. Breathing out down. Like a bird, like a crane flapping, flapping its wings. And again, you can do it with just arms, but it's my uh, habitual Tai Chi to get, engage the whole body. Breathing in. If you know, Tai Chi is a form of Qigong, but you can't say that all Qigong is Tai Chi. Tai Chi is a very advanced form of Qigong. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. 
bird flapping its wings, like a crane flapping its wings. Breathe it in. And breathe it out. And again, I'm not counting the repetitions. I don't tend to count the repetitions. When I'm first learning them, I do religiously stick to the repetitions I was told, or that I read. But as I've progressed, or as I get familiar with the sequences, I just do them until the moves feel right. But again, if you do really want to count, uh, nine repetitions of each. Okay, the next one. So only go down as far as is comfortable for you here. So breathing, going down, raising the heel, and coming back up. Make sure the ribs aren't flaring out, the back isn't curving in, breathing in. So down as far as is comfortable for you, like a bird taking off. So make sure if you go too low, you kind of have to go uh, lunge up. That's not what we're trying for here. Breathing in and breathing out. The whole body moving together. Breathing in, make sure the bum doesn't stick out. Raise the heels, breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. So even if you're only going down to here, be careful of your knees. Really be careful of your knees here. So if you do have problems with your knees, you, can, you, don't, you don't have to go there too far, down to here, keeping all the good posture. And as you progress, or as you, as your body gets stronger from practicing these moves, you'll be able to go lower. But don't rush it. Again, Qigong, Tai Chi, part of traditional Chinese medicine, or well, Qigong I do anyway. traditional Chinese medicine, patience. It's one, a very important thing. Not rushing. I'm trying to really work on that impatient mind. Not to be ruled by it. Okay, the next one. Go down as low as is comfortable for you. Go down, hug your knees, really come up, arms up, and raise. I'm going to raise my left leg first. Try and bring the knee up to, heat, the knee up to uh, hip height, uh, nice and balanced. Looking into the distance, I'm bringing it up down. Go down, hug the knees, get your feet flat on the floor, breathing in, coming up. And raise the other leg, knee as high as the hip, arms out at shoulder height. Pause and go down. And again, comfortable. So I'm going to go down as low as is comfortable for you. So I can go down to here when I do this. But it's taken me years to be able to do that comfortably. So again, don't be impatient. Try to rush it. Again. Enjoy the process. The journey. The body will get stronger. You'll be able to get lower if you want to get lower. There are benefits of going lower. Spreading its wings, looking to the distance, nice and upward. You see, these exercises are really good for developing balance. But even if you can't, if you don't have very good balance, you can just raise that up and just tuck the arms up and just touch the the toes onto the floor. Then, as you your balance improves, you'll be able to lift leg up. Good posture. I'm having more weight towards the rear of the foot. I'm standing on a single leg, so I have that 70% of the weight towards the rear of the foot, 30 towards the front of the foot. Oh, bit of a wobble there. Moving out. And. Moving out. Moving out. Touch the backs of the hands together, breathing in. Again, I'm going to step my left foot first, and breathing in. So, backs of the hands touch each other, and breathing in, stepping forward and touching the toes. Put the foot down, and breathing in. As if, very gently, as if testing the temperature of water with your big toe. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in. 
don't take your arms too far back here. Make sure you're not flaring your ribs out or sticking the chest out. Curving in the lower back or sticking the bum out. Breathing in. And breathing out. So I'm touching the toes of the front foot down and have more weight towards the rear of that supporting foot. Breathing in. Can uh, finish this. Just rub your hands. You can, if your hands are clean, you can uh, wash the face, the neck. Oh, the sun's coming out. It could be a good day. Shoulders, belly, back, single on creeds, knees, thighs, shins, tops, and anywhere. He'll need some special attention. So that's the the frolic of the crane. Uh, you can walk around uh, the space that you've been training on after that. Just, the body uh, tends to feel quite light and airy, like a bird on the wing. Uh, yeah, so I'm just starting to waffle now, so I will finish there. So uh, give it a practice, or don't, but make sure you are practicing something. Kind of, that's one of the reasons I'm making these films, is just for the people who can't think of anything to practice, or have never practiced it, or learned it, or done, again, I'm waffling, or not done this stuff before, uh, got something to... Uh, Interest. Again, I'm just waffling. So practice it or don't, but make sure you are doing something. Don't get sluggish. When you get sluggish, your immune system gets sluggish. So don't get sluggish, and I will say goodbye for now.